All right, guys, let's start this video out with a fish since we haven't been catching many lately. Look at that guy, about 20, 21 inches. I gotta get her back in the water. You guys stay with me. This is gonna be a good episode. We're heading over to Lake Austin to see what we can do in the next uh, Texas Kayak Bass League tournament. Hopefully we get five of these right here. We'll see, you guys stay tuned. practice day seven o'clock in the morning on friday about 20 minutes from the boat ramp on lake austin it's the second event of the texas kayak bass league trail i've never fished this lake before so it should be pretty interesting unfortunately typical texas weather we got 50, high of 56 i think today or something like that all week it's been in the mid 70s close to 80 and practice day, of course, it's in the low 50s and then back to mid 70s uh, tomorrow, Saturday for the tournament. So go figure. But hopefully we can put something together today, get on some fish, maybe not too much so we can save some for the tournament. I uh, hope I get some good footage for you guys and hope you enjoy, enjoy coming along with me. Let's get on the water. And I'm motoring down Bull Creek. I'm going to go to the back because it seems like the water temperature is slowly rising. Plus, I'm going into the wind, so I'm going to see what it looks like back here. Probably got another mile to go, maybe. But I'm hoping that water temperature steadily keeps rising. Who knows, midday, Mike could see, uh, see some fish on beds. I got a water temperature of 61.7 right now. I've already got one bite off of a point, but wasn't very big shook the fish off again i've never been on this part of the highland chain lakes of austin i've fished ladybird i've fished lbj i've never fished lake austin and this little cut is one of the few cuts or larger cuts off of the the main river channel and it has tons of docks so that's kind of familiar to me fishing docks of course not in water this clear but we'll see what happens but i'll tell you what guys it is absolutely gorgeous out here let me give you a shot This beautiful watercolor, something I'm not used to. It's a little windy, but it'll be nice on the way back. But wind direction will probably change by the time I turn around. That's how it, no matter where I go, it always seems like I'm going into the wind. But absolutely beautiful place. So peaceful, a little chilly, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Still sitting at 61.7. Out of shape. I'm pedaling and motoring. Should be getting my motor soon, guys. So stay tuned for that. Newport vessels. I'll do an install video on that. That's going to be fun. That's definitely gonna help my fishing, that's for sure. All right, guys, I'll get back with you, hopefully with a fish. Come on. squeaker on the wacky worm 12 and 3 quarter inches we got to do better than that but at least it's a fish I didn't even know that fish was on I got lures tied on bigger than him That's a little better fish, About 14 and a quarter inches. That's a better fish, a hard fighting fish. Oh. All right guys, that's not a bad one there. 
five of those, I'd be happy. Look at that. Nice belly on it. Make sure I'm not going in the trees. Yeah, that's a good one there. It ain't over 20 inches or nothing, but still. She's a 17 and a quarter. Not as big though. Well, pretty sure I'll be able to pull out a lemon now. May not be a big one, but get a lemon and then we focus on getting the bigger bite. Big guy was chasing me. Beautiful bird. Sixteen and a half. Nope. These fish are feisty. guys we got another one definitely catching them is it anything that's going to win a tournament I don't think so not with the weather the way it's been I think it's just a matter of weeding through guys like this and hopefully getting that bigger bite caught this guy on a jig out of 15 incher so we got a couple of 15s 17, uh, 17 something, a couple of 16s. Catching fish, like I said, but it's not gonna win us anything. But I'm not concerned about getting a limit tomorrow. I don't wanna jinx myself, but should be able to get a limit fairly easy. Try not to set the hook. That's a better fish, 17 and a half. So we've got a couple 17s, a couple 16s, 15, pretty fish. Well, you guys missed it, but I caught two small ones. So I decided to record, maybe we'll catch a big one back here. get to the kayak they start running okay. 18 and three quarter so we got 18 and three quarter 17 and a half a couple of 16s it's not bad that was an awesome bite she came right to the surface to get that wacky worm Ooh, well, I said we may catch a big one. Wasn't a giant, but definitely big for what I've been catching today. And the best part is, if you go back a few videos where I was talking about wacky worms, I've caught all the fish today on one single Cinco. Check out that video to see how.
right guys, it's 620, about 10 minutes until our first launch, 645 lines in, tournament over at three o'clock. I don't know, I'd say we got about, how many people you think we got out here? 20, 30? 20 or 30, something like yep. that, not too bad. I think we had what, 107 sign up total? 115. Oh, got, 115. got up to 115 last night. Holy smokes, 115 people. Somebody's gonna. It's good for the winner, good prize. Yeah, good, yeah, exactly. I'll take you down this pier right here and introduce you to everybody that'll be taking my oh. money. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was just getting out of the way from you there. You're good. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about five minutes till first cast. I'm going down Bull Creek, and so far it's only me and one other kayaker coming down here. So, as I told him earlier, we were talking back and forth. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well guys, not off to a bad start. I don't know if it's gonna hold, but right now I'm in first place. There's some uh, monsters being caught. Jacob Muller already has a 24 and a quarter, I think. Got a lot of work cut out for me. But we'll keep grinding away. It's nice to see your name in first place, even if it's only there for a little while. Sorry I'm not talking much, guys. I'm trying to concentrate. So you guys just sit back and enjoy. Oh guys, that's a 20 and three quarter. And I almost messed that up. Guys, we have gotten off to a banging start. Got about 90 and a half inches, I think, sitting in first place out of 112 or 117 anglers. Be nice to stay there, but I know I got a lot of work cut out for me if that's the that's the case. Yeah, I feel really blessed at the moment and gonna keep working this area over and over, I believe, and see what happens. I work my way towards deeper water as the sun gets higher. If it peaks out today, I don't know. It's supposed to remain cloudy all day, so we'll see what happens with that. But so far, bigger fish are coming on the jig. They're up shallow. Like I figured, I figured I would do better today than I did in practice and so far that's held true with the water temperature just a little bit warmer it's going to get a little bit warmer today I think these fish are starting to make the move so I'm hoping to catch some of these fish in this transition and hopefully I can stay in this area all day and it should produce fish but we'll see I don't want to waste too much time looking for spots let's keep going
It's 11.08 guys and I'm still leading the tournament with 91 and a half inches. The sun's trying to peek through and I think once it does the bite's gonna pick up, especially probably on Ladybird. So I gotta keep going. My smallest fish is 17 and a quarter. I got two 17 and three quarters, an 18 and a 20 and three quarter. Need to get rid of some fish. That's gonna be hard to do, but not impossible. So let's keep plugging away. All right guys, I had to do a little brief interruption to tell you about this next scene coming up. So I want you to pay attention to what's going on. I'm pedaling, I just make a cast, and you'll see me look to the right, as if something was to just capture my attention so much that even though after I just casted, that cast was worthless, let me put my Mirage Drive in reverse, back up, and fish this spot where a fish absolutely should not be. You guys check this out. Yes. Oh man, 18 and a half guys. Ooh. I was still in first at noon. I don't know if I am anymore because I figured it's going to be warming up and it's going to get uh, a better bite on Ladybird. That's going to help an inch. Not an inch. So there you have it, an 18 and a half inch fish, right at about two o'clock, I believe it was. But the question on your mind probably is, well, why was it a spot that a fish wasn't supposed to be? Well, let me tell you, between those two docks, it was very shallow on the bulkhead. I mean, extremely shallow. And with all the wake boats that were passing by, there was a point where I actually looked at that bulkhead and I could see the bottom of the, of the lake just from the waves rocking back and forth from the wake boats. I could actually see the bottom for a split second. So what was a largemouth doing right there on the bulkhead with water that rough? It just didn't make sense to me. But it don't have to make sense to me. That was just the man upstairs giving me that one last call that I needed that actually put me up about four places in this tournament. Tournament over, it's 3 p.m. I just broke off. Not on a fish, on a uh, on a dock. Anyway, ended up with 92 and something, guys. I don't know what it's gonna do. Do I think it's gonna get in the top 10? I sure hope so. But you never know if somebody's uh, sandbagging or not. You don't know if somebody got on some bed fish late this this afternoon. So either way, man, what a tournament! What a beautiful place. And. Caught a lot of fish. I mean, I have nothing to complain about whatsoever. Hope you guys have enjoyed coming along so far. I got about a 20 minute pedal to get back to the truck, load up everything, and uh, we'll be at the weigh in and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, hopefully some good news comes my way. We'll see. Come on. Guys, I hope you've made it this far. If you have, I assume you enjoyed the video. If you did, help me out. Give me a thumbs up on the video. It helps 
the algorithm and other people can, can learn how to kayak fish along with me. Also, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And I wanna to touch on something really quick before I let you go. If you made it this far, don't leave yet. You know, you'll see many fishermen that catch that fish and they'll say, oh, thank God. How many fishermen do you see when they're not catching those fish? Thanking God. Think about that. We should live our lives every day giving the glory to the man upstairs and thanking him for everything we have and also thanking him for the things that we don't have because he's got everything under control. That's one thing I want to try to portray in my videos. This is real life fishing. I film videos where I may catch only one or two fish in a day and then the next video maybe go out and almost win a tournament like this one. It's real. But whether I'm catching fish or I'm not getting a bite, but I thank him for the opportunity to be able to do the things I love. And I think we all should take the time to talk to him, no matter what we're doing, good or bad. So anyway, just wanted to tell you guys that. Thank you so much for watching. The next tournament is out on Houston County Lake. It's gonna set up nicely with the weather. Should be some massive bags caught. You guys stay tuned for that video. We'll have some in between as well. You guys take care and remember, keep God in your heart and a rod in your hand. Come on.